hi everyone i'm nancy and welcome to my channel and today i have got a stitch fix box i'm not sure when the last time i got one was i think it's been a while but anyway if you are not familiar with stitch fix i will have everything that you need to know in a quick little card above that'll take you to another video i'll also have a link below in my description so that if you use my link and you haven't used stitch fix stitch fix before you would get a i believe it's a 25 dollar uh, credit to use on anything that you purchase and i would also get a 25 dollar credit too which is really super and appreciated when that it just kind of helps helps budgeting wise but it's always just fun and it's always nice to hear when somebody uses your link and they are happy with what they got so anyway let's get into my box right here and should have every oh I got this bundle right here I see some flowers so I'm not really too sure about that I see gray and I see some blue jeans and some sweaters so that's looking promising oh and a pair of jeans must not have fit in there because they're still in here loose and I got a prepaid mailer to send anything back that I need to exchange for a different size or if I just need to return it we also have the invoice in here and I'm going to put this down because it's no, noisy, noisy, yeah, sometimes, it, sometimes my mouth doesn't want to move lately. Alrighty, so this is actually my stitch fix number 34. Um, everything in my box is $310. If I were to buy all, um, I would get that 25% discount for $77.50 off. Um, so my total would be $232.50 and I did pay that $49 styling pass up in the beginning of the year so I don't have a styling fee and everything in my box is listed on this if there's anything that you need here it looks like I got a couple of pairs of jeans a sweater um, a stripper trim hooded maybe a sweatshirt or a sweater so price wise I mean nothing is really out of the ordinary I think the highest price in here is a pair of jeans and uh, Daniel Rain, a sweater. I've never seen a Daniel Rain sweater before, so I'm interested. I wonder if that's what the floral item is. But anyway, that's everything that's in my box. You also get a note from your stylist. And the last, I had like the same same stylist um, for like 28 fixes. And then I had um, one called Nancy, which was nice because it was my name. And I had her for maybe two or three more. And then everything after it's just been somebody else, which... You know my feelings on getting different stylists because they never get to know your style but every now and then maybe you know with covid and people moving around and layoffs and whatever it's bound to happen but anyway your style delivered and i do have a new stylist her name is alexandra so it's always nice when they put a little note in there i mean I'm, i mean i know i've seen other people that do these videos and they say that the note they get the same one every time or they they hear somebody else that got the exact same note as they did. I always feel like when I have a note, no matter who that stylist is, I always feel like it is personalized. There's always things that I've asked in there. And I did ask for um, some really nice fitting pair of um, high-rise jeans. I, I want boot cut or like the bell or flares. And, um, you know, so, I mean, she, she read my note, obviously. She's got everything in here. So I am always happy. Um, with the notes that I get, even if it's different stylist, and then they just tell you different ways that you can pair this, which is really nice because sometimes those items show up in your feed on the Stitch Fix website so that you can actually request those items. Um, a little card in here about giving a gift certificates, so that's always a nice plus if you know someone that does a Stitch Fix, but you know you don't know what to get them, but you know that they love Stitch Fix, why not get them a gift certificate? so let's get into this and I will hold everything up seeing how I'm sitting here and I'm quite comfortable so this is a junior rain sweater and it's I've never seen one and flowers usually are not my thing but I don't know it's Daniel rain so I know it's a nice brand so I'm excited I guess to try it on curious curious is the word curious to try this on and see how it fits and alrighty so this is a sweater by fortune and ivy it's a size small it's the caviar button detail brush knit top and camel so 
So it's a nice lightweight sweater. It's got this interesting buttons on this split neck collar. Some rib detail or on the sleeve. Does look like it's rounded, not a high low, but it looks like it would be nice with leggings. It is it is thin, but that's okay because then you can layer it with a sweater. And speaking of layering with a sweater, I think that's what this is. So this is an interesting cardigan. Not really sure if it's my style, but I'm interested to try it on. The um it feels rough. This this part of it feels rough, it's not lined at all. I think the only thing that's lined in the Sherpa is going to be the hood and then right here. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure if it's my style or not, but I'm willing to try it on. It's a size small by Left Letty in me, and it's a Dockery Sherpa trim hooded cardigan, gray size small. And it's interesting. It's an interesting pattern, so it's not like I, I have any of it. It's just weird because every time you take something out of the box, it's, you comment on how soft it is. And this is, uh, well, it's rough. I'm, I'm, I'm just curious to see what the material is now. Um, sorry to be wasting your time on this. So it's uh, acrylic, or maybe that's why. So we got 48% uh, cotton, 44% acrylic. Made in China. Need to say that. Alrighty, and the first pair of jeans is by Judy Blue. Um, they're size one. Oh, I think I'm. I think I'm a. Oh, maybe that'll fit. I, I don't know what size I am. These are mid-rise though, so we'll see how that works. They're the Judy Blue, the Lynn Distressed Boot Cut Jeans. So, the inside says one, but the tag says zero. So I, yeah, I don't know, but they do look small. And Manischewitz, those legs look like they look like they're toothpicks. So we will see how, if they have any stretch. A little bit of a boot cut, not like, let me, let me see if they stretch. Well, they, there is some stretch. I, I'm worried about these. And the pockets, maybe that's part of how it's distressed, but they kind of go down right there. Um, it's not really distressing, but you got a little bit of like that wear right here. So that's not bad. I like that kind of a look. But man, those are tiny. Ready. And the other pair of jeans. Um, these are a Stitch Fix exclusive by Cosmic Blue Love. And um, it did the bread and boot cut jean in indigo size zero. Man, these are tiny. Okay, they do have some stretch, but I, I don't know if there's enough stretch in the world to get these on. So, and the legs are so wicked tiny. I may have to put those banks on under them. They do look nice and long. So anyway, that is everything in my box. I'm excited to try them on. And don't forget, everything you need to know about Stitch Tricks will be in that little card above. And I'll put some things in my description too. So now, anyway, on to the fun part, the try-on. so cheers everyone on to the invoice back to reality finishing up my wine for my vlogmas number seven so anyway it was an interesting box i really thought i was going to like the jeans but i kind of had the feeling when when i held them up in the air that 
Yeah, these legs are tiny. Um, I don't even know if they would get around my hips. I didn't get either one past my knee. And I wasn't going to try to, to ruin them. But they are really nice. I think, I, um, given the two, I would have liked the Judy uh, blue ones. I do like that little bit of, you know, that wear. Not really distressing, but that wear and the fadedness. I did like these ones. Um, these were $58, so they were the Lynn bootcut jeans. Um, but, yeah, the, the these legs, I have no idea who fits in them. Um, I don't, yeah. So, anyway, those are a no. Next item, and this one kind of, um, I, I don't know. I'm on the fence. Um, I love Daniel Rain tops. Um, I'm not really a heavy floral person, so as much as I was surprised that it, it was a nice fit, it feels nice on, it is pretty, um, it's a Daniel Rain, it's the uh, Lina crew neck pullover, they're calling it dark purple and small size small, uh, $68, I think it, you know, for Daniel Rain, I think $68 is a nice price, I love that it's, even though it's on the inside and no one's ever going to see it, you got that little detail right there. Um, he, he does pay uh, attention to detail. It is soft. It is good quality. I just, I think it looked okay on me, but I think I'm just not a floral person, and I don't think I'll end up pulling for it. So for that reason, I think I'm going to be sending that back. Next was the Cosmic Blue Love. These were the Brennan Bootcut Jeans in Indigo, size 0, $88. And again, when I held these up, I was like, who fits into these? Who fits into these legs? Again, I didn't get them past my knee, so, um, but they, they are nice. I like that they kind of go up right there, kind of hides that plumber's crack. And again, just a really tiny, but, um, yeah, so those will be a no. Next is the sweater, which is kind of, kind of nice. Um, it's, a uh, Fortune and Ivy, it's called the Kavia Button Detail Brush Knit Top in size in camel, size small, $42. I think this did have a good fit on me. It is really, really thin. To me, um, this is something I would wear um, early spring in the in the fall. Um, I think because it is so thin, and um, I don't know if it showed on camera, but right in here where it's, it's kind of got all that loose material, I mean, I wouldn't want to size down to it in it but I just think because it is so thin I think that after a few washings this is just going to be one of those those sweaters that just kind of pills and stretches out and um, so after two or three wearings I don't think I would end up wearing it again and this was $42 so that was the cheapest item in the box so for that reason because of the thinness and I just don't think it's going to launder well that is going back uh, next and and this it's it's a nice idea. I um I just don't think it's me. Um yeah this pattern um yeah I just don't think it's me. It, it is acrylic. Um on it didn't feel bad. I had it on with that black turtleneck that I'm sending back um from my Wannable box. Well I think I'm sending it back. I don't know. But so it wasn't itchy at all because I had that turtleneck on. Um I just don't think this pattern is me. Um you know I don't think it did anything for me. Um on the the right person i think this would be really cute but unfortunately i don't think it's for me so i think everything in my stitch fix box is sadly going back this time again everything in my box was 310 dollars the buy all discount would be 77 dollars and 50 cents i don't have that style pass um so i don't have anything else to take off of it i don't have any credits so my total would have been 232.50 but Sadly, I don't think anything in there is really for me. I think if the jeans were the right size, um, yeah, you have to you have to look like this to get them past your knee. Yeah, either that or it's the COVID twenty eight from being on quarantine for twenty eight days. So anyway, that's everything in my box. I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, if you've had any experiences with that fortunate and ivy top, let me know um, if it does launder well. I did extend my, I, did, I can't believe I got everything filmed on the, uh, the trends and the wannable and the Stitch Fix box. So I did get everything filmed. I'm not sure when I'm going to get it posted, um, but I did extend my checkouts on every one. So just so I could kind of think it over and go over it in my mind. And, and of course, take your comments into consideration because I think you guys know me better than I do. So again, thank you for your time. Thanks for joining me. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. If I don't get to chat with anyone again, I hope your week 
goes by nice and slow and usually I say I hope your week, work week goes fast but it's Christmas week I hope you all enjoy it no matter what you're doing and and we will chat again soon everybody bye-bye